sliding doors, frogs, and how we love each other. It rained once. In the little town we live in for 12 days straight, off and on, but mostly at night. I think we love each other this way, boo, off and on, but mostly at night. Mm. <laughs> On the 12th of rain, the woman that I love sent me to the entrance drugstore to buy two C batteries and two D batteries. For the emergency flashlight and the backup emergency flashlight. As I pulled to the store, get out of my car, about a wind and rain, ding, the automatic door slides open, welcoming me into this safe haven. So I ponder automatic doors for a moment. Are they a reflection of our genius or our stupidity? I quickly find the battery out, out for, but after I have them in my hands, I realize, come on. Power outages, like some kinds of love, are only temporary. And what the woman that I love and I really need is Dr. Pepper and Reese's peanut butter cups. So I put down the batteries and head to aisle two for the sake of candy and hope, for the sake of soda and necessity, for the sake of all sweet tasting things and love. Well, as I'm about to purchase these items, the power goes out in the Eckerd's drugstore. Joe, the 300 pound clerk reaches for his emergency flashlight, turns it on, it glows like a tiny beacon of hope in the storm. I think we love each other this way, boo. Like tiny beacons of hope in the storm. He says to me, If you want to leave the cash and take the soda and condiment, that's fine. What the? Mesmerized by how much he sounds like Keanu, <laughs> I tell him, All I have is a debit card. Apologizes for the inconvenience, and I turn to leave, realizing quickly that I cannot budge the doors. Even Joe, with his 300 pounds of leverage, cannot budge them, so we are forced to wait it out. After one hour, my mind begins to wander. What if the storm never lets up? I think we love each other this way, we like storms that never let up. What if the storm's eternal barrage forces me to spend the remainder of my days in the Eckerd's drugstore with Joe, the 300 pound clerk? <laughs> What a wonderful place to be stranded. All the Dr. Pepper Reese's peanut butter cups I could ever eat, aisle two. <laughs> All the hand sanitizer and shampoo I could use, aisle three. But I am not the kind of man who can live without love, I think to myself as I stare into the deep blue eyes of Joe, the 300 pounds left. Damn. <laughs> because unfortunately, I am not gay. However, I read once of an unusual species of frog. If two male members of this species are left in isolation long enough, one of them will spontaneously change sex into female. I wonder which one of us will spontaneously change sex into female. <laughs> and in my mind's eye, I begin to put, oh goodness sakes, one star, how shall I say this? I begin to put delicately cupped breasts <laughs> and long flowing hair and dark red lipstick on Joe the 300 pound clerk, like some sick, twisted version of Mr. Potato. Should I say Mrs. Potato Head? And I realize quickly that I hope it's me that changes into a woman. Yes, the thought of Joe being with me is unpleasant, but not as unpleasant as the thought of me being with. Oh my god! <laughs> my menstrual cramps. <laughs> How bad will my menstrual cramps be? Thank God for our 13. <laughs> all the time, all even my dog, girl, could have need. At this exact moment, the power comes back up in the Eckerd's drugstore, and I turn to leave, realizing quickly that I can never look at Joe, the 300 pound clerk, the same way again. <laughs> Moral. The only thing that makes sense in this crazy world that we live in is love. And automatic doors. Stupid!